Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Friday. It's June 16th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Got a bunch of news for you. Let's get right to all of the happenings in sports. No, that's not my boat. I'm at Cabela's. Took my father-in-law shopping for Father's Day. Got to get my father-in-law something. I'm not a fisherman. I don't. I've never been in a Cabela's. He's a happy camper, so we just bought him a bunch of stuff. All right, here we go. The NBA has banned Ja Morant for 25 games for reckless conduct. Now, I originally thought this was too light a suspension, but guess what? This also will keep him from becoming a Supermax player, so it's going to cost him millions of dollars because you have to play at least 65 games to qualify for All-NBA, and when you can't qualify for All-NBA, you can't get the Supermax deal. So take that, John Morant, for being a complete jackass. Michael Jordan is selling his majority stake in the Charlotte Hornets. This will end his 13-year run as an NBA majority owner. He is getting out of the game. Also, Tiger Woods said today, not ready to return. He's not in the U.S. Open, and he said he will not be able to play in the Open Championship over in Europe. He said the body just is not cooperating at this point. The Warriors have hired a new GM. It's former Bull, Mike Dunleavy Jr. He takes over for Bob Myers, who stepped down a couple of weeks ago. Check out our Cubs recap. They played the Orioles this afternoon and pounded them. And then the White Sox tonight, late night baseball, have a recap of that game as they take on the Mariners in Seattle. And the Bears announced today they have begun dismantling that famous grandstand at Arlington Park. They're going to knock that down. But they said even though they're going to finish all the demolition, it does not mean yet that they have a deal to put a stadium in Arlington Heights. Okay, Bears. They're going to Arlington Heights. There's no way Arlington Heights is going to screw this up. There's no way the Bears are going to walk away from the millions that that deal could make. Hope you have a great Father's Day weekend. I appreciate you greatly. Back into Cabela's we go. By the way, our Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, crazy story of the day. Tony Snell, the former Bull, had his son tested to see if he was autistic. They said he is. As the father of a special needs son, I know what that moment is like, but how about this part of it? Tony Snell said they tested him. He's autistic. Tony Snell, autistic. God bless him and his family. Have a great rest of your weekend. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.